Hey, I am building my current side project and in this video I want to cover the tech I use for that. Just very quickly on the idea so you can understand why we're using the tech we're using. It's an app for YouTubers that lets you generate ideas based on previous videos, based on trends in your niche, based on what's relevant to you, based on videos you've done in the past, based on you. So it's a really personalized app. What's your video style? What's your video length? How in depth do you go? in each video and so on. So it factors in a lot of stuff that is based around a certain user and that also means heavy database activity, storing lots of data, previous video titles, metadata, keywords, tags, relevant, subreddits to get for example information from and so on and much more inside of a database for each user. So database is very crucial to this application and therefore, the first tech I want to talk about is Drizzle ORM. If you don't know what Drizzle is, well, most people in the space we're in with Next.js and React use Prisma to manage their databases. I've talked about just this topic in previous videos as to why Prisma might not be the best choice for your project. TLDR, it's very inefficient, slow and costly because it reads a lot of rows in your database. Drizzle is way more optimized, it's faster, it's edge compatible, but it's also way newer and that means unanswered questions, a lot of GitHub issues and it's not established in an enterprise context like Prisma is whatsoever. And there's one more trade-off that comes with Drizzle and that is it's not yet implemented with NextAuth. Therefore, I found a really powerful combination of two tools that I'm using for this app that make authentication and heavy database work very enjoyable to work with. And that is first Drizzle ORM for the database and then Clerk for authentication. Offloading authentication to them up to I think 5,000 users per month for free with everything included like um, email and password and password reset emails and two-step verification with email being easily implemented like within a day and then having Drizzle to worry about all the heavy database lifting which I'm using MySQL for under the hood with PlanetScale by the way, it's just a really enjoyable combination. Now with Prisma you've got something that is called the Prisma Studio where you can see the data in your database and modify it. With Drizzle ORM, you don't get that. There is no utility like the studio and therefore you have to use external tools and uh, what got recommended by me by one of the creators of Drizzle um, is Beekeeper Studio, but that is paid and I don't want to pay 80 bucks a year for a database insights tool. So I use a free open source alternative at the moment and that is called dBeaver to interact with my SQL database and get some insights and that has been working surprisingly well for me. Now, because offloading the authentication to a third party service brings its caveats, how the hell do I synchronize my database with their authentication, right? Because I need access to the user IDs. That is super important when I want to store like certain relevant keywords for a YouTube channel in the database for a certain user. What's their ID? How do I synchronize my auth to my database? And the answer is with webhooks. Whenever a user is created in Clark, Clerk sends over a webhook to my application telling my app, hey, a user has been created with a payload and that payload also contains the user information like their ID. However, if you've ever worked with webhooks before, you might know locally you can't test them. Clerk has no way to send a webhook to my localhost 3000. And that is why I need another tool for that and that is called ngrok. ngrok allows me to forward my port, I think that's what it's called, to make it publicly accessible in the web. So I can just type ngrok HTTP and then the port and that's gonna host my app on an actual HTTPS website which is very important so we can deliver the webhook from Clerk to that HTTPS endpoint which actually maps to my local host allowing for local testing of webhooks. And then for the actual functionality and the styling and so on, I use the newest Next.js 13 version, but not server actions. You might know about them. I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't use them. I use regular API routes instead. And then for the UI, I've had an amazing experience using Shad CN UI. I've only discovered it like this year, this UI library, and it's been so good to work with. No context providers to get access to the underlying code. And it's just really, really nice to work with and get a good looking accessible UI up 
very quickly. You can just install the components that you need into your app using the CLI or actually copy pasting the code from the website and then you can already use it in your app. It's integrated with Tailwind, so it's meant for Tailwind usage. If you're not a Tailwind fan, that might be a problem for you. I am, I'm an absolute Tailwind stan, so I find that very good and it's really easy to implement in the apps and it just looks really good. That's the tech stack, Drizzle or M to leverage the full power of SQL, because it's after all just a really thin wrapper around SQL. If you make a request to a database using Drizzle, a query, only one query is sent as compared to Prisma. When you join tables in Prisma, all the tables are read separately and then mashed together in the Rust binary engine. With Drizzle, only one query is sent. So it's optimized for speed, for performance. It's optimized for database read, so it's gonna be cheaper and it's edge compatible. And I'm having a really good time using it um, in my app for the first time actually. Before that, I've always used Prisma. Now I made the switch to Drizzle and I couldn't be happier about it. So yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes, how the project pans out over the development time. And uh, I'm gonna tell you about it. It's gonna be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed my insights into this tech stack. And let me know if you have experience with any of the tools in here and what those experiences are. I'd be very interested in hearing about your thoughts. That's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.